All right, so in this, for this DIY project, you'll need a staple gun. Okay, yeah. You'll need foam, high density foam. And this is a two inch high density foam. Okay, and you'll also need your wood piece for your seat. And you will also need your fabric that you're going to use, okay? All right, so the first thing you're going to, oh, and you'll also need your crate. And this crate, I actually spray painted it blue, okay? All right, so let's get started. So, First thing we're going to do is take our fabric, lay it down with the wrong side facing up, okay? Let me move my iron out of the way. Okay. All right. And this fabric has been washed and ironed to get the creases out. All right. Then the next thing you're going to do is take your... High density foam. I'm gonna lay it down onto the fabric, and then we're gonna take our wood piece, line it up onto the high density foam, and lay it down. Okay. Now we're gonna take our fabric, and you want to make sure you have enough fabric left to hang over. So when you make your staples, we put our staples in, and we're good to go. Okay. So now we're ready to staple. So what I'm doing is just trying to start the first, um, going to start the first bit of stapling of the fabric here. And my fabric, I have too much fabric, so what I'm gonna do first is cut my fabric down, okay? And then I'll be right back. All right, so now I have my fabric cut, okay? So what we're gonna do now is staple our fabric nice and tight okay and so now you have like your sandwich so you have your high density foam and your wood and I'll put the measurements down below for you okay so now I'm gonna start at the corner and I'm just gonna take the corner piece pull it nice and tight I'm gonna take my staple staple down okay then we're gonna go along this side here pull nice and tight nice and tight Okay, and keep your fingers out of the way. Okay, and then we're going to a staple. Okay. All right. So we're pulling nice and tight as we staple, okay? to the corner and turn it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're at this corner here. Okay. And then in the corner, we're going to just try to get it nice and tight, almost like your gift wrapping. Okay, nice and tight. Pull it down. We're just gonna go all the way around and do that pulling, getting it nice and tight, okay? Keeping our fingers out of the way. All right, and we're gonna do that all the way around. Okay, so now when you get to this last little end here, you wanna make sure you hold it like so and just pull it really tight, okay? And then staple. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way when you're stapling. Okay, staple. Staple. And then here I want to 
to staple again. Okay. All right. So now you have the top of your bench, okay? And this will make it so that way they can sit. And then I'm just going to go around it and trim excess fabric, okay? Underneath the staples, I'm just going to get some of that excess fabric off. Rings that's kind of hanging down. Get all of those off. Okay. All right. So now you have your top piece. Okay. And then here we have our bench that we've already painted. Okay. So your seat is going to go on this part. That's why I didn't worry about it being painted all the way. So the staple because we're done with the staple. So we're gonna use this Gorilla Wood Glue, okay? So for this, I'm just gonna actually take the top off, okay? And then I have some wood craft sticks, okay? Now the wood craft sticks, what I'm gonna do is take the glue, remember this is wood glue, and it gives a really good hold, okay? I'm just gonna spread it across the fabric nice thin kind of cold I don't want it to be too lumpy too it's a nice thin layer across the wood okay all right so here you can see that's how I did the glue okay put a little bit on the fabric not a lot just a little bit on the fabric There, I have the glue on that part. Now, what I do want to do also is put glue onto the slats here. So you see these are what I'm calling the slats. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on each slat, okay? Not too thick, kind of thin pieces. This glue does give a really good hold. You just have to make sure that you let it sit overnight, okay? So I'm gonna put the glue here and just place it onto the wood slats, like so, okay? I'm gonna do that on each of the slats and then I'll be back. Okay, so now you can see I put the glue on there. I don't know if you can tell, there you go. Okay, so I have the glue on there. Remember, I also put glue on my seat now. So now I'm gonna turn the seat over. We're going to place it nice and neat on the top. Okay, and then we're just gonna give a light little pressure. Nice amount of pressure. And the good thing about this glue is it dries really nice and clear. Okay. So now that's on there. See how that's on there? Nice and neat. Now what I'm gonna do is turn it upside down just so that the weight is bearing down on it. And then we let it sit overnight for 24 hours, okay? Okay, so here's one that's dry. This one, I have one more on the other side that's still drying. So what I wanna show you is, what I'm gonna do now is um, put the name on the bench and then we have a completed Easter box or basket, however you wanna call it. So now I'm just gonna put the name here on this line. I'm just trying to see if you can see. Okay. Nice and centered. Okay, all right, 
so the name is exactly where I want it. And then I'm just gonna scrub it onto push the decal down, the name on it, onto it. And we will have a completed seat. Our bench, these are perfect for any occasion. You can do any type of fabric. It's up to you. Okay, and now I'm just gonna slowly pull my decal film off. smooth as I go if I see any lumps underneath the name portion okay and then I'm just going to continue here and voila we have a completed Easter box our basket and then I'll put a picture at the end to show you how I fill it with everything for Easter or as a gift basket. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.